All right, people, it's been exactly, I think, a month on the day, or maybe yesterday, since I moved in. And today, we're going to do the first official tour of my new house. Before we go inside, we'll take a quick walk around the outside. All right, and also, um, you may have seen on my live stream I did when I first got the house, I have changed all the locks out to best locks, and my same key opens all my locks. So with that being said, we'll go in the backyard now. All right, now, my whole yard is fenced in, and up there is the attic, which I don't have a ladder to access. Over there is the steps to my back door, which also takes the best lock. And there is the old lattice off the front. Nick is coming over to mow my grass next week. Here is my back patio with some furniture that Lawrence gave me. That's the steps up to the back door and this is the back of the house. As we go down here you see I have a back driveway and alleyway and there is my trash can. And this is my shed. It came with the property. It has seen better days, and also, as you see, there is a best lock on it. So we'll open the shed and see what's inside. That's right, my motorcycle now has covered parking. So yeah, I have a pretty nice big backyard, and here is a view from the backyard of the house. It's a cute little house. Built in 1919, this house is right at a hundred years old. My electrician is supposed to be replacing this service cable once he actually gets here. And as you can see I have a little driveway. It looks like there used to be a carport there. And yes, these spigots outside work. I have water outside. It's nice. As we go up the driveway, you'll see my next gate, which I have to unlock, because I do keep my property, property locked. There we go, got the key in. And I'm not gonna bother with relocking this gate right now. I just wanna be able to take y'all on the tour. There is my cute little Hyundai. Here's my Hyundai. All right, now we will take one more look at the front of the house and tell me if you notice anything different about it. That's right, the lattice is gone. Got a little front porch swing here. I've sat out on it a few times, it's pretty cool. Here's the old commode from the bathroom. Now let's go inside and take a look around. My new door lock is a best. These are mortise locks, so replacing it was easy. All right, now the first thing you see when you come inside is my living room. Looks a little bit different than it did on the live stream tour. Got the TV over there. I've got Davenports, yay. And over here is my little budgie. Evan and Aaron unofficially named it Tinklebird. Haven't figured out if it's a boy or a girl yet. And over here is what Evan and Aaron and Jason named as my knickknack nook, where you will see exactly that, some of my knickknacks. My Game Boys, and check this out, watch this. That's right, each shelf is lit with a preheat light. There is some of my Game Boys on display, some of my padlocks, some elevator stuff, and here are all the cameras that have been, almost all the cameras that have been used on Elevate Tours. From this camera on. Here is a view from this side of the room. You see the TV. And again, like I said, the house, I mean, I try to keep it clean, but like I said, you're seeing it in the condition it normally is. I replaced that light fixture. That's right. There used to be a different light fixture here. This is the light Jason gave me. And I got a new bed. 
So this right here is the master bedroom. There's my nightstand. And there is my other nightstand. So we'll get a view over here from this side of the master bedroom. My bird's chirping a little bit. I got the dresser over there, nightstand over there, and let's turn on the air conditioning because it's getting hot. This house has walk-in closets, which you walk in and this closet is kind of full of crap because I haven't gone through any of it yet. It has a light that comes on, very high ceilings. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Got a walk-in closet with a bunch of crap here. You hear the bird in there playing. And then here is the only bathroom in the house. That turns on the light. That turns on the fan. Now, I don't know if I showed this on the live stream, but the toilet has been placed. I put this old standard, I think, compact in from 1956. Here is my shower which you pull up on this to turn it on. Pull up on that for shower. The house has pretty good water pressure. The only thing I like, you have to push that down to turn the shower off, it doesn't fall by itself. Hey, yes, I need to shave and check this out. I replaced these lights with preheat fluorescent. So yeah, this whole house is gonna be preheat fluorescent. Here is my old toilet. And for all you toilet fans, I guess we'll flush it. It's an old standard. Turn on the Elevate Tours video light. There you go. And this door, which at some point I am going to remove and wall it off because I want to make the kitchen bigger, goes into the kitchen. But we'll show the kitchen in a minute. We're going to go to the dining room. This right here, if I can find the light switch. Oh, wow, let's find the air conditioner when I want to turn on the light. This is my dining room where I have two chairs that Brendan gave me and a random stool. Window air conditioning. And you go off the dining room and it goes into the guest bedroom. This is on the original knob and tube wiring these light fixtures. This right here is the guest bedroom. There is an extra bed, which I don't know if I'm going to keep or if Melinda wants it back. But here is the bed that came with the house. And underneath it, it has another bed, which is pretty cool. You slide this out and you got another bed. It raises up and everything. I got window air conditioning. Diesel. The closet in this room is going to be, I guess, my fluorescent lighting laboratory because I've got a bunch of fluorescent lights in there. And more lights, so yeah. The only problem is there's some termite damage here that I have to fix. I pulled down this drywall and there's all, I think this is old termite damage, but I'm still gonna get the house treated again. This light fixture, Force, you asked about this light fixture. This is the light fixture you gave me. I completely redid it with new ballasts. It is going to go right there. And I keep these door clo doors closed so I don't want to climb and control. The house does have central heating. Oil heat, which I'll show you when we go down the basement. Let me see if I can find my keys, because I'm going to need these to get in the basement here in a minute, which I'll show you. Several people told me the basement's pretty cool. Now we'll go into the kitchen. This is my kitchen right here. Got an old stove. Melinda gave me this. I think those of y'all who are into retro stuff will love this old Whirlpool stove. And the clock works. It needs to be reset because my power has been off a few times with the electrician. Here's my microwave and toaster and a bread box. And this is a view of the kitchen from this side. I hope I'm giving an in-depth enough tour. This turns on this light, which by the way, this light is going to be replaced Matter of fact, later on today, I'm probably going to do it. I'm going to put this old fluoro ray up. And if I could, they, they, it, it's a little, it's got a little chandelier thing on it. It's pretty cool. So that's going to go up later today or tomorrow. I've already replaced this light, so check this out. Preheat. And this is my kitchen sink. Look at this. 
This is a really old kitchen sink and I love it. I am going to keep my old sink. Let me see, is it draining right? If it drains good, that is my old kitchen sink. And here is a nice view out the back window. Out of the guest bedroom, I forgot to show you something. Let me show you something cool out of the guest bedroom. Let's open up the shade. Oh, I think it's out the side window, but you can see the Mill Mountain Star. If you look just right, it's hard to see up there, actually. But yeah, you can see the Mill Mountain Star at night. It's all lit up white. So yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. I can see Roanoke's symbol for my house. As we move forward with the tour, this right here is the laundry room. Again, I took down the original light fixture and put this up. Awesome preheat for us in action. This is my laundry room. The house came with a washer and a dryer. And if you look to the right of the screen, you can see my dirty laundry. Don't tell anyone you saw my dirty laundry now. Freezer. Refrigerator, which I need to put some stuff in. And another cool feature about this house, there's a lot of quirky things about these old houses. This window, look at this. Look at this window here. It opens by pulling here. It's a sliding window. Look at that. It goes, it's like an ele it's almost like an elevator door. Oh, Yeah, it's a, it should slide all the way across, but I think the wood is warped. And now we will go out the back door. But before we go out the back door, I had to replace the lock on it with none other than, that's right, a best lock. which, as you can see, has my own core. This one is going to be replaced with the best lock. But yeah, look, now I can open my back door like that. And we're going to go out the back door. And again, we're seeing my backyard. We are going to go down the steps over to here to see the basement. Y'all ready for this? All right, here we go down to the basement. Oh, tight squeeze. I need to get a dehumidifier down here. And I think I showed you all before in the live stream, there used to be a fuse box here, but my electrician put this in. I now have a modern Siemens circuit breaker panel, 200 amps. He still has to come back and put this stuff in. And as you can see, here is a tour of some of my crap I got out of the storage bin. More is coming soon. Uh, this whole wall is pretty much going to be my crap wall. Got oil tanks for my oil furnace. They're at right at half tank. So I may have enough to get through the winter, but these are my old oil tanks for my brand new oil furnace. And I've tried this thing out. This thing puts out so much good heat and it's a very energy efficient one according to this. It's almost on the most efficient. There is my hot water heater and I have a dirt floor under the old part of the house. But yeah, Evan and Aaron were telling me that this basement is really cool. I mean, I'm sorry I can't get more of it in the frame, but you know how this Handycam is. And over here is my old fuse boxes. Yeah, this is my old fuse box. And I need to get rid of more crap. The basement leaks a little bit when it rains. That's termite damage, which is from an old infestation. But yeah, all these jars were left in my basement. I don't know the story behind them, but that's where they're going to stay. And here is, last but not least, a view of my basement from the back of the basement. 
I hope you all have enjoyed this tour. Well, anyway, that's... I guess that's about all I have to show now. This is the current condition of the house, a month after moving. And... I will do some more updates as I continue doing stuff to fix this house up. So we're gonna lock, and yeah, I got a Simply Safe alarm system. I'll show you that in the living room. I got a Simply Safe alarm system. So that's right, if anyone comes over uninvited, the police will show up. And I will tell you, they'll show up in less than five minutes because I accidentally put my distress code in when I was disarming at one time and the police like came in just a matter of minutes. And these steps need to be replaced. But yeah, I think I got a good deal on this house. I paid just a little over $50,000 for this place. So, ah, uh, phone's going off. Let's turn off some lights to save energy. Because I have to pay my own electric bill now. And this is my Simply Safe system right here. I will let you hear it if you want. It's got a watch. Does I get my hand close to it? Simply save on. And also, this living room is monitored by a security camera. And I can look at this in real time. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this brief look at my new house. Um, I never did an official tour. I just did a live stream. So this is the first official tour of my new house. With that being said, we'll have some preheat fluorescent action. And I hope you enjoyed it. And that will be it. And remember, the video's over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, join, and hit the bell.